education is really about teaching people how to live in this world, teaching children and students how to contribute to society. And you, so you do a number of things. You teach skills and professions. You also have social structures. STEM education, science, technology, engineering, and mathematics education, I think the most important part about that is understanding information, figuring out how to problem solve, critical thinking skills. Every day, the world is changing rapidly, right? So you're going to have to have different sets of information to analyze. Some of the most important ways I think we can impact STEM education, whether it be in South Africa, whether it be on the south side of Chicago, or whether it be in Beverly Hills, right? You can impact it by teaching uh, first, second, third graders hands-on experimentation. I like to always talk about the potato plants, right? Um, so you grow it in a cup or an onion and you watch how fast it grows and how you measure the stalks of green every day. It teaches you mathematics. It teaches you averaging. It also helps with your observational skills. And think about children. They love to be engaged in things, right? Because they're always picking things up. They're trying to figure out how does this grow so you have a captive audience there already and it does not cost the same amount as putting a laptop for every child and yet you create this incredible thirst for knowledge and you feed the thirst that they already have here's the thing I believe adults are the problem very often as adults we try to make it children's problems but it's actually adults we as adults have to take responsibility not for ch just for children of our own not just for our relatives but for every child because we're going to rely on them in the years to come society is going to rely on them we need to make sure that every child has the opportunity to develop to their potential that's our responsibility as citizens as adults so what do we as adults do I think the first thing is accept that we have a responsibility for where the world is right now. The first thing you have to do with empowerment is to understand that you have something to contribute. Everybody has to acknowledge that they have something to contribute. And once you decide you have something to contribute, you need to understand that you have a right to do that. Right? You, nobody has to give you permission. You have a right to participate in where this world goes. And finally, and I think this is the hardest part, you have to take the risk and do that. Put yourself out there. Whatever it is you're doing, whether it's you know something like 100 Year Starship where people may laugh at you, they may fail, or whether it's going and helping a child out, whether it's going and helping somebody out in your neighborhood, that's where you get your power from, is by, first of all, recognizing you have a right to participate, secondly acknowledging that you have something to contribute, and finally risking doing that. I have this armband on, this little bracelet, and the bracelet says, Daring Makes a Difference. It's uh, what I use from DrMay.com, Daring Makes a Difference. Sometimes we have to try things. We have to dare to put ourselves out there. I think it's the most difficult thing but I think it's the most important thing that we as adults can do. 100 Year Starship is an initiative to ensure that we have the capabilities to send humans to another star system within the next 100 years. Now I use the word capabilities because the project is really, uh, the purpose of it is to uh, look at the kind of innovation to foster the kind of radical innovation, technology advancement, knowledge advancement that happens when you tackle a really tough problem. So how it, difficult is it to go from our star to another star, from the sun, our solar system? You have to really look at energy, you have to look at closed environmental life support, you have to look at communications, you have to look at financial structures, right? Because if you were to talk about how do you push for going to another star system, how would you fund or pay for that. If you talk about going to another star, until that actually happens and we're able to establish commerce, your return on investment has to be something different. It has to be the return on innovation. It has to be innovation that comes about because you're starting to get different people involved in science and technology.